They'll take that sacrifice just to fit him in that team. That's how good of a player, of a midfielder he is, that they're willing to take less cam just to fit exactly. him in. You see Belladero there, you know, getting ready. He's he's got that he's got the serious face on. Last night, you know, he was jumping around for joy for, for getting this <laughs> far, but now, you know, he's got a, he's got his game face on Leo. Mm -hmm. This is when it matters. This is when it matters most. He, uh, like Rachel had mentioned before, there's not quite, it's not quite as much pressure as the loser's bracket because a loss in this match does not mean you are completely out of the tournament. Um, however, we do, of course, want to go on in the winner's bracket. So here we go. Here we go. PHD in the dark strip, Baladero in the Brazil kit, yellow and blue. Trying to channel previous amazing performances from the Celesau back in the day. The likes of R9, Ronaldinho, those caliber of players. Cafu done some amazing things. Some of them even in the Copa Libertadores as well. Nice pressure from Baladero there. Four minutes gone. No goals just yet. Jude Bellingham, not the most agile. And he's closed down by none other than uh, Jude Bellingham, as we see there. It's Hakimi. always him. Always him, Hakimi. Marquinhos, we got flashback run in this fixture. Bellingham on the ball, as always, Conte. Hakimi's going to find Conte once again. Gives it back to Jude. Not a lot going on in front of Conte right now. You see just so many PHN players closing in on him. He's got to go wide to Hakimi. Gives it right back, Hakimi. Almost an interception oh, for Jude. Oh, oh, got a chance oh, there. Oh, 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 what a save. I actually thought that was in. What an absolute monster save from Donnarumma. Who else but Donnarumma in this match, Leah? Of course, it always is him. It's him. He is the man of the tournament for me. Man of the tournament. It's a close call between Jude Bellingham and uh, Donnarumma, but amazing saves for Donnarumma. And in a tight match like this, you know, winner's final, that's what it's going to take. Just those, just those few chances, that X factor, it's going to exactly. take you to the grand final. You see PHN trying to find that run of Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham's going to start tracking back because there's a counterattack on the cards right now. Mbappe is down the wing. Ball roll scoop, maybe. Fake shot stop. Conte. He's going to give it to Ronaldo. Baladero with that cancel. Oh, oh that was kind of nice. Conte gets the ball back. Oh, that was onside. Oh, wow. Imagine back heel flick like that to break the deadlock. Woo. That would have been amazing. Baladero with two early chances already looking. Like the more confident player, Pele's gonna drift offside just a bit, but waits for the run. And Bop is gonna make a run. Ball roll. Donnarumma once again reads that ball roll. Hakimi still has it though. Another another chance there, but this time it's for PH Zin. What's he gonna do? Gonna recycle just a bit. Send it back to Ruben Diaz. Marquinhos. João Cancelo gives it to Cristiano Ronaldo. Back to João Cancelo. Great interception from Hakimi, but João Cancelo gets it right back. That's a mistake from Bandeira. Oh. Oh my goodness. I think, uh, do we need to say his name again, Leo? I don't think we do. I think everyone knows at this point. Guys in the chat, let's be real. If you see a save, you know who made it, all right? We're not, we're not <laughs> even going to mention his name anymore. We know exactly what's going on here. This guy's just insane. He's crazy. crazy. Saves everything. And I think he is going to be the difference between these two. I mean, they both have him, but like, I feel like. He's just going to make one crazy save for one person. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be the one difference between the two players. Very tight mm -hmm. match. Oh, oh, I was going to say tight match, but interception Ooh. there from Bellingham. Oh, oh, R9. R9 is through. R9 is through. Gives it to Mbappe. Bellingham. KDB is going to receive it. Oh, can't find that pass. Out wide. And R9 bit deeper than usual, you know, but it's not the worst. Hakimi. Looking for some 
outlet passes. Can't find any, so you know what they're going to do. They're going to switch the play right to left. But another interception. Pele. Who's out wide here? It's going to be Hakimi. Bellingham. Marquinhos resets. Switches. Cancelo. Oh my goodness. So many interceptions everywhere. It's going to be a run by Mbappe down the wing if you can find Ooh. it over the top. Oh, that's offside, um, Leah. Yeah. Very, very, very many interceptions. I think that, in my opinion, Balaguerro is dominating at the moment, dominating possession, has had more chances. Um, however, I don't think we can rule anything out yet, but because perhaps this is a tactic for Peterson. Like I mentioned before the game, I feel like he likes to read out his opponent for the first little bit and then attack. So I feel like we haven't seen the potential of this game yet. We have not seen PH Zin's final form, it seems like. Hopefully we'll see it by the end of this, or maybe he's saving it for the grand final, of course. And that first match he had was pretty tight with Barreto. PH Zin having to win on penalties in that situation. Will he need penalties this time? We'll find out soon. 41 minutes gone. Why are there Liverpool chants in the background? Someone change that card <laughs> from the stadium menu. <laughs> or need Libertadores here, man. <laughs> Save that for the Premier League. Last chance. Conte on the ball. He's going to give it back to Marquinhos. And that's going to be halftime. Pretty intense, wouldn't you say, Leah? Very, very. Still tied at nil-nil. Listen, I feel like different play styles we're seeing. Valdero's a little more attacking, a little quick to build up, or a little quicker, rather, to build up, whereas Peterson's kind of just absorbing, reading, um, pressing quite hard. But as we know and as we've seen, when you press aggressively like that, you create space. And if, if is able to get out of that press, he has a lot of space to create some goal-scoring chances. Yes, he does indeed. Second half of that first leg. This is the winner's final of the Copa E Libertadores in Paraguay. Asuncion, Paraguay. We got Mbappe on the wing. R9. Looking for that green timed header. Red timed, unfortunately. Still couldn't get off that cross. Now Ikimi. On the ball for... PH in Bellingham, of course, PH in the dark strip, sent it over the top. Of course, that's the tactic that these guys are using to get around the midfield. As FIFA 22, lots of interceptions possible. Mm -hmm. As you can see, another over the top attempt. Pele. R9. Gives it to team there, KDB. Shao Cancelo. Ball roll. Gives it back to KDB. Ooh, great interception by Kate, but KDB wins the ball back. Is, Ka is KDB going to cross that in? Cristiano Ronaldo plays it into R9. R9 Ooh. trying to find some space, but absolutely no space in the penalty area there. Yeah, you know, I think we're seeing something similar that we saw in the first half. Perhaps a little less attack from Balladuro, but a common, uh, a common theme is that they you know, save their hard, heavy attack for the second leg. And I think that's something we'll probably see again. Maybe even extra time. Pens, like you mentioned. <sighs> Donna Ruma with the save again at short range. My goodness. Nothing seems to get past this man. Mm -mm. Nothing, absolutely nothing. This guy is unbeatable right now. We see KDB on the ball for PH Zin. He's got Donner over to thank for keeping it at nil-nil. Bellingham. Ronaldo. Bellingham on the ball. I don't know, I feel a goal coming right here. My spidey sense is right. tingling. <laughs> Pele, oh! I guess it wasn't that accurate, but... <laughs> Flashback for on with the block, though. Exactly. Pele trying to green time that to the far post. Not working out. Fizzle with the ball back! 
Like I told you that a goal is on the way. I just had to be a bit patient, Leia. Your spidey senses did not disappoint you this time. You were right. Are you surprised? Are you surprised this page is in based on the performance that we've seen from them both so far? Not so... Well, okay, I'll be real. Baladero probably had the better chances. He's probably going to feel a bit frustrated mm -hmm. because he had quite a few chances to convert, but Donnarumma again came up big this time. Donnarumma's beaten at that near post. I think that is Donnarumma's weak point. Mm -hmm. That near post, we saw a lot of goals go in in one of the winners' group finals yesterday. And I think that's probably the best way to beat Donnarumma. Did you see him make another save? This guy can save anything. He can save my hairline, Chet. <laughs> Let me tell you, that's that's a that's a that's a tough task. But Donnarumma's up for it. He was indeed. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! Two oh seven. Two. No, sir, not today. It won't be that easy for you. And we're back. We're back level at 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Instant reply from Baladero. Great intricate passing in the penalty area. A little bit of space opened up. Baladero took advantage of that. Ronaldo, two touch. Bang. Bang. The back of the net. We are back. Say. The Brazilians turning on the style here, the Elipidadores. We will have a Brazilian champion here. The Argentinians watching at home, kind of punching the air right now. They're mad. Argentina's out. Of course, Argentina won the Elipidadores last year, 2021. Matias Bonanno, shout out to you. He's playing for Crew Esports at the time, Sergio Aguero's Esports team. But this year, it's coming home to Brazil. Is it going to be one of these two players, though? PHN or Baladero? Whoever wins this two-legged affair goes on to that winner's final. But it's not curtains for whoever loses this. They still can go down to the loser side and make their way back up. We've got Balladero now with Mbappe. Left stick dribbling, looking kind of nice. Bellingham connects with Conte on that pass, but gives it away to Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho on the pitch now for PHN, likes to bring him on in the second half. Nice little ball to Mbappe, Mbappe's through. Ball roll scoop maybe. Chips into the oh. back post, Ronaldinho! Oh. oh, he gets another chance at it! Ronaldinho oh. makes the difference for PHN! Oh my goodness, you know, I was just about to say, Donna Ruma again with the save, but Ronaldinho capitalizes on the rebound and walks it into the net. Ice in the veins for PHN or what? <laughs> PHN luckily getting that second chance from that Donnarumma save. Bouncing right back to Ronaldinho. Instant impact from the Brazilian legend. Moments Ronaldinho. I mean, he plays for his esports team, so might as well put him in, Leia. That's what I'm saying. Is it any time? He's probably watching at home, proud of his esports team. Very proud. I wonder if he gets like a bonus for. Every goal Ronaldinho scores. <laughs> that would be amazing. Bellingham on the ball for PH in. Messi finesse. Oh, that green time finesse he usually goes in. For some reason, it goes in when I'm playing five champions. It's not going in today. <laughs> yeah. Funny how that works. <laughs> you know, I feel like perhaps we still have another goal. I feel like Valdero is going to come back with a vengeance and try and get a goal before the end of the first leg. Definitely see another goal somewhere on the cards. 84 minutes, though, for this first leg. <gasps> oh, 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 what a save from Donnarumma again. Bounces back off of the attacker. I think that was maybe Maradona who had the chance. And PHN's Donnarumma is absolutely doing bits out there. He is. Listen, as, as soon as I fire up my game again i'm about to go to the transfer market and buy myself the team of the year don't remember. i don't know about you nah nah you're you're talking up prime casillas relax <laughs> you don't get to switch up now i mean i might have to how madrid and all that you know but still i don't know man 
Let's switch it up. Stick to Casillas, man. I'll take Donnarumma. <laughs> Actually, do, I, do I have him now? No. Who do I have? Who's my keeper? Oh, my keeper is Czech right now, but sometimes it's Mendy. But you know what? I need the chemistry for um, my two center backs. They're for different leagues. Ronaldo is on the right side here, but PHZ is going to win the ball back, and that should be it for the first leg. Unless anything crazy happens. Okay, over the top through ball. Oh, I passed it back. And that's going to be game. Oh, for that hey. first leg. Leah, how did you like that one? Intense. The intensity is at an all time high for me at home in my office with my door shut. <laughs> but I can imagine what it's like for them in Paraguay sitting there playing in front of everyone. I think, you know, crazy, crazy matchup. Am I surprised? A little, you know, I thought PH Zin would perhaps dominate. Baladero is giving him a real good fight and I don't think it's over. I think, I think we might see an upset here. I mean, look, I don't want to see any of these guys lose, but because they're great competitors, but man, I told you about this guy, PHZ, he's kind of different these days, man. This guy knows how to, I mean, look, he definitely has to thank Donnarumma. Let's be real. He has to thank Donnarumma for like the, I want to say like eight saves or something like that. But hey, we'll see what happens in that second leg. Is PHN going to hang on to his lead? We'll find out in just a bit. We're going to take a quick break and be right back with some more e Libertadores action. Welcome back to the e Lipidadores 2022 Finals. My name is Chubo. I'm joined by the lovely Leah Ravel. We have our second leg of our winner's final between PH Zin and Baladero. 
So far, PHN has a 2-1 lead in the first leg, but this guy Baladero has been, been having a lot of chances. Can he convert? Leah, I mean, Leah thinks he can. I don't know. I think he can. I think he can. I think we've seen it already. They've been equal once. He went up just before, Pigeon went up just before the second half, or just before the end of the first leg, rather. Um, and yeah, I don't think it's over for Baladero. I think I think he comes back. Cristiano Ronaldo, they're getting the equalizer. And is this guy judging? Oh, he gives a thumbs up. He's judging the goal himself. <laughs> I mean, of course you're going to give your own goal a thumbs up. Let's be real. Like, Ronaldo, come on. <laughs> be serious, bro. I've never Messi? seen that celebration. That's good. That's oh, okay. I think that I think that's available like the, one of the seasons. Back post cross. We did see Pajin be one of the only players to use that back post cross. With uh, Ronaldinho finishing off the goal, lucky to get the ball back from that save from Donnarumma. Of course, Donnarumma has been a huge part of this fixture, making incredible saves. Unfortunately for Balladero, that save went back to moments R10, and R10 finishes it off for the. R10 esports player. And again, I, I, I promise you, Ronaldinho's out there watching this somewhere smiling that he just scored. I think in a so. Virtual game. You're I probably not so. wrong. And he's going to be happy with the performances so far of PHN. And he's not the only R10 esports player, of course, in this tournament. We also have the teammate of PHN, MH7, who just won his uh, losers bracket game. So he'll still be in this tournament. Could he come back and meet his teammate once again? Either way, it's going to be an all-Brazilian final because we only had two non-Brazilian competitors in this eight-man tournament. And they both have gone out. Sebas Ortiz went out earlier yesterday uh, from Colombia. And also today, we just saw Charlie Human head home as well. So we will have a Brazilian champion tonight. And the trophy will be going home to Brazil, I'm sure. The Brazilians in the chat are loving that. Everyone else in South America, eh, maybe not so much. Of course, <laughs> the the pride of Libertadores is uh, is very high in South America, is it not, Leo? I think so. Like you said, a very, very, very big tournament in South America, and now a very big esports tournament. So I'm excited to see who takes home the crown later tonight. La Gloria Eterna will be decided. Uh, see where that goes home to. Uh, is it going to be Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro? Either way, it's going to be in Brazil. Is it going to be PHN? Is it going to be Baladero? We still have to find out in this winner's final. The guys are still getting set up for that second leg. And we'll get into the action in just a moment. But like we mentioned in that first leg, Baladero had a lot of the chances, Leah. He probably should have won that, don't you think? I think so. I... I think he was dominant, uh, especially in the first half of that first leg. After his equalizer, especially, he did not let PH Sin rest for a second. And honestly, I think that, you know, he broke through his defense. I think if it wasn't for the insane saves by Donnarumma, the goal line, or the score line rather, might be different. The goal line probably would have been different if not for team of the year Donnarumma. Making the most ridiculous saves and keeping PH Sin in it i'm sure he's gonna have to if he wins this whole tour mate he's probably gonna have to you know dedicate a, an ig story to donnarumma i hey, think donnarumma so. plays a bit of fifa you know he plays a bit of video games here and there he's pretty he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a young guy you know because sometimes you you forget that these the the, the players that uh, are being emulated on the pitch they're, they're, they're young players you know donnarumma's a young a young guy all those guys are young guys i mean for me growing up now it's weird that like i'm older than the players that i watch right um, yeah, that always that used to freak me out because and, and, and guys in the chat are gonna be roasting me, but hey, wait, wait till it happens to you. The mm -hmm. the switch that happens when the players that you love are younger than you is so odd, but uh, you'll 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 witness it one day, man. This is not just a boomer talking. Anyway, we're going <laughs> into the second leg of this matchup, winners final. Whoever wins this is booking a place into the grand final. We have an offside there, Baladero in the Brazil kit, yellow and blue. And then uh, Fizz and PH Zen, excuse me, in the dark kit. He's going to start things off. Donnarumma, of course, he gets a save. But PH Zen starting things off great. Looks like they're going to change some settings. I think maybe uh, they're going to change the camera settings a bit. Looks like that, yeah. And PH Zen with the advantage, of course, 2 1 on aggregate. Let's see what happens. 
Oh, PH Zin hitting him with the Elastico, with the Mbappe lightning speed. Oh my goodness. Just as I was saying, never mind, not 2 1, 3 1 on aggregate. That's a tougher lead to come back from. That is a tough lead to come back from. And PH Zin doesn't give up leads very easily either. He does not. My goodness. And now baladero has got a mountain to climb here. Two goals down against the most experienced player in this tournament. But he's got to give it a shot. He's got to give it a go. He's got to give it all that he can. Bellingham. Cancelo. And this isn't this wouldn't be the first time that Belladero has come back from a 2-0 or a two-goal deficit. So I'm not uh I'm not counting him out just yet. That is very true. He has been down before, I think in his match against Rampazzo. He was down two goals to nil. And he made that comeback. But PH Jin. It's a more experienced player. He'll know what he needs to do to see this one out, I believe. Pele. Could he get a third goal here? A third goal would definitely seal it. R9. Donnarumma was straight at him this time. And as Not I mentioned in the safe. in the first, or before the first leg, rather, uh, with regards to the play style to PH Zin, he was uh, very calm. I feel like he was not playing to his full potential in that first leg. He was kind of breathing out his opponent. And now you're really seeing the explosiveness of his play style in this second leg. Definitely seeing his play style come through Mbappe. Oh, White the Pele, that's going to be a foul. Cancelo just uh, leaving a little something there on Pele. Short free kick though, KDB's on it. Ooh, set piece trickery here. Ronaldo, oh. he's got some space. Oh, tries to square it instead of shooting it. Probably the right idea there, but the defender intercepts. Now Mbappe's going to be free, but r is going to go down the middle. Luckily, the defender's there for PH Sin. Bellingham gives it to KDB. Mbappe. Pele. Nice little ball roll and turn. Left string dribbling. Looking clean for PH Zin, but not clean enough now. Paladero is going to have a counter. He's got Pele on the wing. No space ahead of him. Has to drop back a bit. Pele intercepting once again. And what do you think Belladero has to do here to get back in this game, Leia? He's still got a little bit of time. I think that, you know, he really has to focus a little bit more, perhaps in the second half, change his tactics to way more attacking. But I feel like if he can get a goal, uh, at least one goal by the end of this half, he'd be in a good position to, to at least equalize before the end of the second half. Definitely still a lot of time. We're only halfway through that first half of the second leg. Still another half to go. In a little bit. Oh, great work from flashback Veron there. Ronaldo. A few players out of place for PH Zin. Oh, what is that pass from Conte? What is going on there? Golo Conte, sort yourself out. Ronaldo. Nice Bailey, is he going to hit that green? That is the most green thing I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. Oh, what a shot from Jude Bellingham, Leia. You see, I mean, first it was Gotham Bridge, and now it's Jude. I don't know. Three, two is easy, but three might be GG. What do you think? I think that's a GG. You see the motion there from R10 PH Zin. Green time finesse. If it's green, it's going in, man. Let me tell you, Jude Bellingham. Get that player in your team, chat. I don't know what you <laughs> Why you sit here? Go, go to the transfer market. And put him in your team. I don't know why you're just here doing nothing, right? I mean, you're enjoying yourself watching this. Of course, we got those, you know, viewership rewards. Let's be real. But at the same time, yo, go get that Jude Bellingham, bro. I know I will 100%. I'll do what it takes. Sell my whole team to get him. But uh, you know what they say. If it's green, it's clean. And it was indeed. Mm-hmm. Definitely a clean, long-range shot. And finally, we see a, a long-range banger of a goal from Jude Bellingham, and PA Jin is looking clear right now. I think so too, but, you know, still 16, a little less than 60 minutes left, so 
Crazier things have happened, I suppose. Crazier things have happened, let me tell you. I've given up a three or four goal lead. I don't want to talk about it, but <laughs> they happened. The my foot champs. Went to extra time. Went to penalties. Yeah, you know the rest. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to happen. I think PHG is a bit better at, at FIFA than I am, so I think you'll know what to do in this situation. Is he going to get another one, though? Mbappe. Oh, sorry. That was uh, Baladero. I feel and like Peter's we can we can see some of the composure being lost by Baldero, you know, being three goals down. His defense is splitting a little bit, but he just seems to compose himself and, and at least try and get uh, one more goal before half. One more goal would be ideal. If you can just get one more goal, that would be putting him in a nice situation. But PHM, like I mentioned before this, definitely knows how to control each situation that he goes into. If he's ahead, he knows that he needs to frustrate his opponent. Mm -hmm. If he's behind, he knows what tactics he needs to use to get those extra goals. And he's going to see out this first half, the second leg, with possession. And one step closer to that grand final. One step closer to that grand final. 35,000 US dollars on the line. 35 big ones. You see Ronaldo, green time for oh! this! R9! Oh. PHZ, name a better duo. I'll wait right here, Leah. <laughs> you know what? To be fair, it wasn't messy, but we did finally see the green finesse from outside the box. From the corner like that, R9. I think that's it, too. I think that. I think that's done. It might be over. You can see the look on Baladero's face. Not too happy. PH Jin in full control, just hitting the long shots. Two long shots in this game, switching things up. I think that's what I really like about his gameplay. He'll hit you with the back post cross. You start expecting that, and then he switches to the long shots mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and scores two of them. PH Jin. Unpredictable. But as mentioned before, you guys, this isn't the end of Valadero. He does not go home if he loses this game. He just drops to the loser's bracket and has another chance to face PH Zen in the final. This is Factos. He does have another chance. And he'll know now what to expect if he comes across PH Zen one more time mm -hmm. in the grand final. He'll know what he's all about. The question is, can he stop it? Can he stop the attacking prowess of PH Zin? The variety of goals they've seen from PH Zin have just been absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. Close range, long, long range. Mm -hmm. Man can score any way he pleases. The sign of a great FIFA player. The diverse setups, the diverse goals. The nice little passing by Baladero here. Can he come up with something? He needs a goal very quickly if he has a, any chance, but four goals now That's against Piaget. It's going to be very tough, Leo. It will be very, very tough. I think what's important for Baladero at this point is to finish this game strong. Um, you know, even one more goal or, you know, dominating the last... 20, 30 minutes of in-game time. I think we'll set him up for success for his next match if he does end up dropping to that losing bracket. Woo! A little reverse elastico there by Mbappe. I think that was a bit of a green time finish as well. Great save for Donnarumma. Always. As usual. Right on time, a Donnarumma save. Bellingham. What can Baladero do to find something, anything in this game. So you gotta start making some moves and just go for it. Maybe switch up the formation, just go for it. At this nothing point, he's lose. got, yeah, exactly. He's got nothing to lose, so. He might just be in a better mindset if he finishes, finishes this game strong, mentally as well for himself. 
to go into that next game. Ooh, tries a chance there with Mbappe. Gets the ball back. So many defenders fighting for the badge for PHN. Fighting for that R10 badge, man. These guys want to win. Marquinhos wants to win. Team of the Year Hakimi wants to win. They all want to perform well for their man PH Zim. Ronaldo. Great tackle there from uh, Hakimi. Of course, you guys are watching the Conmo Ball E Lipidadores. $100,000 prize pool in this FIFA tournament. $35,000 going to the winner. And PH Zim taking one step closer to that 35k of course he's going to cement himself in that grand final where he will not need a bracket reset to win he just needs to win his first two legs or the, the aggregate between the two legs mm -hmm. and he gets that thirty-five thousand dollars. a very dominant performance for from him throughout the course of this tournament thus far too very dominant indeed as we see him kick the ball out unintentionally, of course. You can see there 4-4-2 for Balladero. Having him pop on that left side. Conte in the middle. I don't know if there's anything you can change here, Leah, to get back from four goals down, though. I don't think four goals is happening. Maybe one, maybe two. Four. That would be a miracle, but miracles happen. Some would say so. Needs a miracle. Will he find one in this last 20 minutes? Baladero. Looks like he's on his way. Oh, interception. Looks like he's on his way to the loser side. But he still has a few opponents to face if he wants to make his way back. Between SP. Uh, Sorry, yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to say, including uh, SPQR Young and MH7, they got to play and then. He meets whoever wins that matchup for a chance to get back in this. Ronaldinho. Tries to play it out wide, but the defenders are just on their best behavior today for PH and doing amazing things for this young Brazilian, 18 years old. Oh, great save. Another great save from our man Donnarumma, Leo. Donnarumma again. It's always him. And, you know, I was just thinking that uh, depending on who drops and who goes through, even after a bracket reset, I feel like all of the opponents, generally speaking, will all have played each other at least once. So maybe that gives mm. them an advantage to understand their play style, to know what they're mm. up against going into debatably a more important game. Mm, this is true. Very good point, Leo. Now they do know what to expect. Now it's about who will know how to adjust based on that. Who can figure out the right adjustments and tweak their game to come out victorious in the end. Ten minutes left. Excuse me, eight minutes left in this one. PH in just cruising right now. Doesn't really need to do much. No way he's going to concede four goals in a few minutes. Conte's on the ball. Intercepted by João Cancelo. Ronaldinho. Who did get some important goals in this tournament, especially for PH Zin. Mbappe. Nice interception there from, I believe that's N'Golo Conte, but Aladero keeps the ball. Goes out wide, Hakimi. Nowhere to go, so he's got to give that oh. ball away. You know, I don't think we're seeing what we need to see from Belgaro at this point. He seems a little bit defeated, a little bit demotivated, and, you know, understandable um, with the scoreline of 5 1. That's tough to come back from, you know, physically in game, but also mentally um, when you're playing in a tournament in a game as big as this one. 5-1 scoreline on aggregate is it's a, a tough feat. It's, it's tough to take. I think he pretty much got outplayed in certain areas. Mm -hmm. And isn't sure how to respond to the dominant victory there 
from PHN who books his place into that grand final for a chance to compete for 35,000 big ones. Big ones. We've seen him there before. We have seen him there before in the final. 